everyone. Today's a school day. I don't have class until 11.50 and it's 8.30 and I decided I wanted to go walk by the beach and get coffee and have a relaxing slow morning. So I brought my journal, I brought my book and you're gonna come with me. I love my class schedule this semester. I don't have any 8 a.m.s or early classes. I got a new mattress topper changes the game i sleep so well now my mattress was so uncomfortable so i'm thankful for that <laughs> yeah we're second semester life is good <laughs> that's my little re oh also i got bangs if you couldn't tell i cut them myself one day randomly i don't know if they're even like if i should keep going but someone was walking their dog i don't know if they're even but i love them new new year new me new year new hair oh today is one 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 it's january 11th which is a special day <gasps> there's another dog walking and he has a cone around his his head the cone of shame you remember that from the up movie i'm going to a new coffee shop it's called tanner's coffee company and i'm excited the reviews were really good so i'll update you Not even an hour later I had to walk up a very large hill and that was treacherous because I took a yoga class last night and it was so nice and it felt really good but I'm a little weak right now because I've been so dormant I don't know if that was the right word <laughs> yeah I took a yoga class so I'm a little bit sore and I just had to walk up that hill which was good it was good for me I'm not like complaining or anything I'm just saying I need a minute Yeah, the coffee shop was so cute, but the only downside was that it was absolutely freezing. And there was a space heater a little bit over there, but someone was sitting right there, and so I didn't want to sit like right in front of them and right by the space heater, so I had to sit a little bit away from it, and I just didn't feel it. I was shivering. I should have looked around at the people wearing coats, <laughs> but that didn't, it didn't even occur to me that it would be too cold. I don't know. That coffee shop was more of like a grab and go, like for people just who are walking by the beach. So I understand that it's not heated. So it was really good though. I got a latte and a ham, egg, and cheese bagel. A man sat beside me and he was like, Your bagel looks so good. And I gave him the other half because I didn't want it. And his name was Craig and he was nice. It's probably a good thing that I left when I right now because I need to clean my room and take apart a box. Last night I watched Lady Bird. It's a movie that my friend Val recommended to me and it was so good. If you have any favorite movies, you should tell me them because one of my New Year's resolutions is to watch more movies. Lady Bird was amazing. It was so beautiful and it showed like a mother-daughter relationship so well. And I also really like how it showed her father kind of struggling but hiding it, but their relationship was really good. It was like hard for her to see him struggling. I don't know, I kind of related to that. I related to a lot of parts of the movie. It was just really good. It was really like coming of age. <sighs> Anyways, you should let me know your favorite movie recommendations because I'll watch them. What a beautiful day. I'm like watching people go up this hill and they're winded like I was. But yeah, I really loved that yoga class. I really want to take advantage of the classes that my school does. They have like a workout class schedule every week. It's for free. Well, technically it's not. Like I paid for it because tuition, but I want to take advantage of that. And there's yoga all the time. I love how in a class you could just like tell who was a dancer. And I just feel like I relate to them. Or I just like dancers, I just like feel a connection to them. It was just fun, okay? Okay, what's the game plan? 
What time is it even? It's 9.30. Did I forget my glasses? I really hope not. Oh, <laughs> they're right here. Mm. I don't know the game plan. You're just gonna see. You're just gonna come with me. I got these sunglasses from the thrift store and they're kind of iconic. I think. I can never tell if sunglasses look good. They're kind of giving mom. But anyways, I got ready for class. I feel like I can't see you. I feel like you can't see me. It's a beautiful day and oh, I don't even I didn't even tell you what class I'm going to. I'm going to media studies and I really like it and I have a lot of friends in that class. I'm wearing my mom's pearls today. I don't wear them enough and I really love them. I feel so classy. Okay, look at my hair right now. really good now I'm sitting out this has a name it's the big grass patch my sister just texted me about a scholarship opportunity I need that look these boys are setting up some volleyball maybe I should join look this is what I drew in class beautiful right so in our media studies class, and it's kind of all about power. That's what I love about communication as a major. Number one, it's about communicating, obviously that part, <laughs> like interpersonal communication. It's about power. And really everything boils down to that. I'm most excited though about my relational communication class. Oh my gosh, the first day, I'm already, it's already so fun. Oh, I also started a new word list for the semester so far. Reciprocity, volition, ostracizing, panacea, amoral, and messencine, which I already knew, but I wrote it down again because I forgot. But yeah, in my relational communication class, for one project, we have to change one thing nonverbal about ourselves. It can be anything. She said people in the class. For example, someone started going to school without their shoes. Someone got a tattoo and then went home to their family and how they reacted and how they treated him so different. Oh, and one person who was always on time started coming to class super late for like a week and it stressed her out so much. I don't think I'm gonna do that, but I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Oh, one thing, back to the media studies class, one thing that my professor said about media and power, power used to be about like killing people and it still is, but the new form of power is controlling your mind or controlling the meaning of things, which is what media has the power to do. He said, if you're a language creating machine, you're a power creating machine. That's so true. He said, our imaginations show our visions or our scope of the world and the media we create comes from our imagination. This is kind of obvious, like obviously what you make is gonna show your vision of the world, but that kind of just sat with me. Like, I just wanna be more intentional about things. I don't know. I don't know where this is going. I think I'm gonna chill here bask in the sun a little bit. And I think later tonight, I'm seeing Mean Girls, which will be fun. Ooh, also, for my media studies class, we have to log for five days every time we use our phones or our laptops or just any media write down what we did when we did it how we felt when we did it just to kind of become more aware and he was like we can't criticize media we don't even know how we're consuming it so i thought that was interesting i'm excited about that i love anytime i get to reflect <laughs> Task. And then, you know how I just mentioned my sister sent me something about a scholarship? Well, it's due the 13th. Oh, it's due the 13th of February, but I'm still gonna start it. Um, I shouldn't even try it. Hey, I'm back. I went to CVS and now I'm back home. 
I'm starving. I don't know what I want yet, but I'm first washing my water bottle because I haven't washed it in like a month, maybe. I'm just gonna be honest. That's probably so bad. But I'm doing it now. That's all that matters. I have to show you though. Look at her fridge. Is that not the cutest thing ever? Karina gets these little collectible cards from a certain brand of like fruit roll up. Also, <laughs> I just saw this plate. I've never seen it before and I think it's funny. This reminds me of my childhood. <gasps> Did you guys have those animal plates where the ears were little sections? I didn't know this was still going. Okay, I was thinking about it and I actually think I washed it once when I went back to Ohio for the winter. So, there. That doesn't make it any better, honestly. I was also thinking, I'm gonna make a smoothie. In every smoothie I make, I always put salt, just like a little bit, because salt enhances the flavor no matter, oh, should I put cinnamon in it? That might be good, just a little. And then the star of the show, peanut butter. I decided to make fried rice and eggs because it's easy and simple. Easy. We're gonna do a smoothie taste test. I always open it like this with a towel because once I was wearing a white shirt and I got smoothie all over me. Lesson learned. That's actually so good. You can, <coughs> you can really taste the cinnamon. Maybe I shouldn't have added that. <laughs> That's funny. Karina just got home from the gym. Okay. Yeah. And then I carried two wine bottles like this home. A mile. <laughs> That's so long. <laughs> I had to stop and stand in the grass at the golf course. Are you serious? Well, like, I didn't have to, but I was like, oh, they're getting a little heavy. You said earlier today that you wanted to sit, sit in the grass, and I was like, that sounds nice. <laughs> I offered to pick her up, y'all. I'm not. She did. I, I wanted to walk. Awful. <laughs> a wine opener. This is a pretty color. <laughs> the chorizo. The fake meat. Okay, I got it. Look okay. at the glasses from there. Mm -hmm. Sarah, just show them how to do it. <laughs> there you go. 